So are we on track to vaccinate every Indian by the end of 2021? That's another question. I think that's impossible because um, as I had said earlier, it'll probably take two or three years before every Indian gets it. Not just because of the supply constraint of the vaccine, it's also having, you know, you, you need you need five things. You need the budget, you need the vaccine, you need the logistical um, infrastructure, you need the people willing to take the vaccine. So these are all the factors that lead up to being able to vaccinate more than 80, 90 percent of a population. Imagine that, you know, you have in the US and Europe, um, and I've already always seen this as a general rule of thumb, that in the West, if you are, uh, question, you are generally questioning every fact that is thrown at you instead of accepting the science or what the government tells you to do, um, you will have issues in a situation like this, and we can't afford to do that uh, in a pandemic. We need to protect everyone as soon as possible. So these will be the factors why India and other nations, not just India, will take two to three years. As I stand by my statement I made a few months ago, that it'll be 2024 till everybody, if willing to take a two dose vaccine, will get vaccinated and protected by then. Most people in India are uh, accepting of vaccines. We don't have vaccine denialism, you know, at the same level as the United States. Well, you'll be surprised in certain communities and other parts of India, you have a lot of resistance only because of lack of knowledge. You know, if if you're uh, if you have fear because you don't know everything about something, naturally it's it's only natural, and I don't blame them for being fearful. So it's our job, it's the media's job, it's the government's job, the manufacturer's job to explain, you know, using social media and other means, whatever other means, to communicate the real facts on the ground, share with full transparency the information so that people know. Um, about safety and, and the merits of taking a vaccine as opposed to not taking it and then just being having and being vulnerable uh, with their families to getting a disease. So it's our job to continuously educate them because there's so much fake news. There's so much other news coming. You know, there all these WhatsApp forwards come from the West. One guy gives it to 20 people here and then they thousands of people read it and then they get scared and someone twists the words and you know how things get carried away. So we need to really uh, keep an eye on it and uh, uh, continuously message and give the ra the facts on the ground to people so that they're not fearful of and, and understand what's going on. And then I'm sure, you know, we all will, will come to the same conclusion that taking the vaccine is far better than not taking it.